provides them with state-of-the-art weapons, the most sophisticated weaponry. Do they have the technology themselves? Do I live in dreamland? Do they have the manufacturing plants? Who provides them with all these weapons? Who is financing them? Hmm? They're being paid a thousand US dollars a day to go and fight? Huh? Where's the money coming from? Hmm? Is it Santa Claus? Is it Santa Claus? Was it Santa Claus who supplied it in Libya? To overthrow the Libyan government? So that now NATO is in control of Libya? And those absolute fools with only rubbish in their head did that in Libya? Only rubbish in their head, those absolute fools. That's what they did in Libya. Who is supplying all the high-tech weapons? And who is financing all these Mujahideen coming from Britain, which the British government is so happy to allow to go? 1,000 US dollars a day. <laughs> who is financing? And who is supplying all the high-tech weapons for them in their so-called jihad in Syria so that they could make Syria another Libya? My question is, is it Santa Claus? Is it Santa Claus? And now who is supplying ISIS with all its high-tech weapons? Who is supplying? ISIS with all the money hmm? and once again I have to ask the question is it Santa Claus hmm? that is the same force at work that recruited them in Libya and sent the weapons into Benghazi I don't want to speak any more about how the weapons reach Benghazi. The Turkish government has a lot to answer for to Allah on Judgment Day. This bogus Turkish government pretending to be Islamic. And they recruited fighters from different parts of the world. Okay. And they show no Islamic etiquette, Islamic rules of warfare. In the case of Tripoli, they waited until Ramadan. They waited until people have fasted for the whole day. And now it is the time to break the fast. And everybody lay down their weapons to sit, sit down over the iftar to eat. And these wicked, wicked, wicked people who say they are Mujahideen launched the attack at that time and killed maybe a thousand, two thousand people in order to take Tripoli. They can't be Muslims. Their place is in Jahannam. The same people who did that in Libya, in consequence of which Libya is now, it's a failed state, it's finished. It's rubbish. That's what Libya is today, rubbish. And NATO is in charge in Libya. So when the attack on Egypt takes place, Israel will attack from one side and NATO will attack from the other side. The same people are also there in Syria. Who's providing them the weapons? Turkey is doing it. Turkey is a member of NATO. Turkey is providing the weapons. Saudi Arabia. The Prophet ﷺ pointed to the east to Najd. And he said, Naj is Karno Shaitan. Karno Shaitan. It is Karno Shaitan who is behind ISIS today. Not just the CIA 
not just the Mossad, it is Karno Shaitan. Providing the weapons, providing the financing, doing all the strategic thinking for ISIS. But uh, if you don't want to believe me, you can wait until Judgment Day and you see for yourself. But at that time, don't ask for excuse on Judgment Day. No, too late at that time. If you can't see now, man kana fi hazihi a'ama fahuwa fil akhirati a'ama wa adalla sabil Whosoever is blind here will be blind there as well and more misguided. That is the Quran. Yeah. I am well aware. I am well aware of what has been happening in Syria for the last 60 years or more. No one has to lecture to me. <laughs> I know the history. Okay? But I am not going to be party ever of any group who seek to liberate themselves from oppression and take weapons and arms from Saudi Arabia and from Qatar and from Turkey. A large number of those who are now fighting Assad in Syria are paid by the Saudis and the Qataris and are trained and have been given arms to go and invade another country. May Allah grant the day will come when Saudi Arabia will be invaded in the same way. Hmm? Qatar and Saudi Arabia are Zionist countries. Oh yes. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ مِنْهُمْ If you turn to them with friendship and alliance, you belong to them, says Allah, not to us. The Judeo-Christian alliance, the Zionist alliance. If there are in Syria, those who are not connected whatsoever with the Saudis, and with Qatar, and with Turkey, and with the Zionists, okay? Where are you getting your weapons? Oh, we're taking it from the Syrian army. <laughs> Very convenient answer. Very convenient answer. Hmm? Even if you have your own weapons, you do not launch your struggle at this time to liberate yourself. This is the wrong time. Because you're going to be used as guinea pigs. Whatever success you achieve will be beneficial to them. So you're acting very foolishly very foolishly to use this moment the second Arab Spring to get rid of Assad choose a different time not a time when Saudi Arabia and Qatar and the Zionists are sending men into Turkey armed with weapons and financed by them and trained by them choose another time not this time okay so I know about oppression it's not just in Syria of course there's more oppression in Saudi Arabia. Well, how many of them going to Saudi Arabia to liberate Saudi Arabia? How many? They'll never do that. They will never do that. Never, 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 never do that. What kind of jihad is that? They don't even think about that. Hijaz is the heart of Islam. The Hajj is today under Zionist control. That's worse than Assad anyway. How many of them are prepared to go to Saudi Arabia to wage jihad? None. How many will go to Qatar to liberate Qatar? None. How many will go to Turkey to liberate Turkey from NATO control? None. But you want to get rid of Assad. I am not a supporter of the Syrian government. No. But I'm not going to be taken for a ride by those who want to use this moment this moment to overturn this government because I know when Assad falls then Syria will become another Libya if that is what you want that is what you'll get we don't want that we don't want that and these fools with a capital F 
who are now part of the CIA Jihad. We always knew it was a CIA Jihad. But now the CIA itself has come forward to confess, yes, it's a CIA, a CIA Jihad in Syria. We are the ones who trained them. We are the ones who financed them. We are the ones who provided the weapons. So don't go, don't go and bomb our people, Putin. These are our people. We always knew it, but now the CIA has come forward to say yes. Hmm? If you take weapons from them to go and fight your bogus jihad, to kill our people, and you believe that you are in a valid jihad, in your ISIS, we say to you, if you are killed, we will not pray over your body. We'll never stand at your grave. What? Because Allah says in the Quran, minkum fa innahu minhum. So if you take weapons from NATO and you take money from Saudi Arabia and Turkey, which is a NATO country, to fight your bogus jihad, you don't belong to us anymore, you now belong to them. Inna Allah la yahdil qawm Surely Allah does not provide guidance to a wicked people. This is wickedness. The external appearance they wanted to be accepted was one of a valid jihad. The internal reality was that it was still these wicked people in the CIA and the Israeli Mossad and the British intelligence and so on who were not only doing the planning but also the funding and providing the weapons and doing the training and so on. Lo and behold when Russia intervened suddenly we're hearing voices oh but you're not attacking ISIS you're attacking our boys oh okay so now the evidence is coming out that the CIA is now admitting that they were funding and they were trading and they were arming and they were providing the weapons for the opposition to, to Assad in Libya I mean in Syria so now we can legitimately declare it's a CIA jihad but I have a better name for it for ISIS and company I call it the Yankee jihad we want that day to come when Imam al-Mahdi will be there in Damascus your city and the Jahan will be there your city and Nabi Isa Islam returns your city Damascus is too important from the time Assad falls, what you call the greatest enemy of the Muslims, Russia, is Rome. You should first of all prove that I am wrong. When I say Rome in the Quran is Russia today, prove me wrong. Prove to me that Rome today is the Roman Catholic Church in Vatican, and Rome today is the Anglo-American Alliance. It's only either Eastern Christianity or Western Christianity, which one? Which one is Rome? The Quran speaks about Rome and speaks positively, positively about Rome. And Nabi Muhammad والسلام, said we'll make an alliance with Rome. And guess who's made alliance already? Iran. Iran has already made an alliance with Rome. So those who want to consider Russia as their greatest enemy of the Sunni Muslims, go ahead. We are not a part of that. We've done enough to tell you. That Russia is now changing and returning to Christianity.